a lot of requests for side dishes, quick side dishes. Uh, you know, if I'm hanging out at a friend's house and I'm taking the plate around, I might have 90% side, side dishes. Just all side dishes? Yeah, I, I'm telling you, it's like it's like a celebration of little bites. It's like uh, tapas style on one big plate. Nice. Yeah, uh, this is one of my favorite quick fire side dishes. And we're actually gonna start the marinade before we start the grill. Let's huh. get into the action. I forgot to tell you what it is. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> uh, it is a soy balsamic black pepper marinated okra. Let's get into the action. So first thing we gotta do is get these babies in the marinade. And I do this before I light the grill um, because they can be doing their work it's while. It's good looking okra. Yeah, it is good. It's good, it's nice. Look, you look, you want it to be firm, not mushy, uh, not huge either because it starts to get woody um, and you don't like that. So these are absolutely perfect. And I like to use a Ziploc bag. We'll see, this might be a little tight for all these, but we'll make it work. And now that we have all of our okra in the bag, it's, it's embarrassing how super simple this is. <laughs> it really is. Uh, I use less sodium soy sauce. And we're pretty much equal parts soy sauce. I say pretty much because I'll have to do it and then watch the video and then write the <laughs> recipe. It's one of those things I've done a million times for caterings and such. So let's go, oh, let's call it that much. Whatever it is, five fluid ounces of, of each, right? Okay, five fluid ounces of balsamic. Wow. Might have gone a little heavy there, that's okay. And then black pepper. So black pepper, soy sauce, balsamic. And I'm talking like a tablespoon of black pepper there. It's got, yeah. some, it's got some punch. Now we're gonna zip it shut, get some of that air out of there, and then let the marinade work. Now you don't want to over marinate this. I'd say anywhere from 30 minutes to three hours. Uh, and again, it's imperative that we're using less sodium soy sauce here so it doesn't get super salty, but we're going to get this earthiness, this tanginess, this zip, you might say. Um, but here we go. Look at that cool marinade. And I turn this bag every once in a while. Sometimes I even macerate them a little bit if they're a little firm, so they'll start drinking it up. Uh, but now we just leave this, either sit out in room temperature for 30 minutes or go ahead and put it in the refrigerator for up to three hours. Let's get the grill started. Once the grill is up to temperature, we're gonna start grilling them. Here we go. Y'all know the deal. We're gonna go ahead and fill our fire box up about three quarters of the way full, bank everything to one side, light that fire starter and build our chimney of charcoal around that flame, giving it full access. Don't forget to open up that draft door so we can have uh, maximum airflow and we're gonna bring the grill to about 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Beautiful. So once our coal bed is where we want it, let's go ahead and sneak in one deflector shield, top it with a grill grate, and put whatever favorite smoking wood you want in there. We're gonna smells amazing already. Yeah, right when that people people don't realize that hot smoking is a thing, right? They always think low and slow, 230 degrees, and they're whispering, you know, a nice piece of oak or sugar maple in there that's smoking. Uh, but as we all know, the more intense the fire is, uh, the cleaner that wood is gonna burn. And so we're gonna impart this beautiful light smoke at a very high temperature. So I'm loving what I'm seeing, what I'm smelling, and what I'm tasting in the air right now. This is gonna be perfect. We're gonna, we're Nathan, we're gonna, we're gonna change this from okra to smokra. Oh, all right. Okay. Good Lord. <laughs> yeah, well, and he say we could grill this direct, but I think roasting at a higher temperature, semi-indirect is gonna give us the most beneficial flavor. And I've done this a hundred different ways. Um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. So this will be a lid down, high temperature, semi-indirect smokra. It's been five to seven minutes, let's take a look. Oh yeah. And when you've got that one heat deflector in there, the smoke and the heat just roll over. Uh, so I wanna watch the ones on the edge and make sure they don't over caramelize. But now we're just gonna- Over caramelize. Well, yeah, it's a chef word, yeah. euphemism for burnt, right? We don't wanna burn them. But I notice they are getting softer. I can see some caramelization. Notice how that pepper is setting mm. wherever the liquid was staying there. Uh, and if you have some extra uh, uh, marinade, maybe once you flip them, now's a good time to baste a little bit with that marinade, or just use your tongs to pour some of that some of that lacquer over the top. And again, watch out for the ones on the edge if they need to come over here because they're uh, starting to over caramelize. Uh, that's a okay. But I think another seven minutes. And again, we're just looking for a nice, soft, uh, roasted look here. 
It's been another seven minutes. Let's go ahead and take a look. And right off the bat, I love, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love what I'm seeing. Uh, the end pieces here, you see the caramelization, oh, look yeah. at the bubbles occurring. Uh, and that tells us that it is caramelizing wonderfully. Looks nice and soft. Perfect, let's go ahead and plate up. And remember, this is a side dish. Um, so you could imagine putting this with some flank steak or uh, just pairing it up by itself, you know? We really don't do many straight vegetarian dishes, I'll tell you that, but this is a, a good... It's uh, amazing. Yeah, and there's so much big, bold flavor here. And we're gonna garnish it with a little reduced balsamic just to accentuate that sweetness, give it a little glaze look. I tell you, team, it is the simple things in life. Uh, don't overthink your side dishes. You know, this roasted okra, sweet, sour. Sauce, I messed up, smoker. That's gotta be the title. <laughs> we gotta call it smoker, you know, next big thing. Uh, and I'm just gonna give a little dab in that, in that glaze. You can even mix some honey in there if you wanted to. That's perfect. Skip the honey. Big bulb flavors at its best, right? Vegetables off the grill, not to be underestimated. Side dishes, don't overthink them. Folks, if you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and please do leave us a comment. Uh, as always, from our backyard to yours, cheers and happy grilling. Thank you.